Just a little bit of a tool tip today. I've got these brush pens um, that are really useful for electronics work and repair. Uh, these are just essentially little pens and they have brushes of different grits built in. So you just twist this little back piece there and the grit comes out more or less. This particular set I have, I have three different uh, types of grittiness. So this is a steel brush. And the more you stick it out, the, the softer it is, the closer you keep it to the uh, cap, the stiffer it is. So this one's steel. This one here is brass. And this one here is fiberglass. Now I do know that these kits do come with another type uh, sometimes, which is nylon. I'm going to link to the kits in the description. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to, uh, when you need these, already have them on hand because they're a lot cheaper from China than they are locally. But here, to give you an example, um, sometimes there's battery contacts that have um, a little bit of stuff that has built up on them. Either that be the uh, white powder that comes out of batteries or sometimes it's just corrosion. Well, you can use these pens to gently clean them off. So just grab the fiber pen here. See it, it's very gently cleaning the top of that bee there as well as the copper around it. So that worked pretty well. This is actually my favorite is the the fiber pen. Then we've got the brass. It's a little bit more aggressive here. So it's going to add a little bit of tooth to the uh, to the the copper, but see it really brightened it up, made it all shiny, took all the corrosion off. But as you can see, the marker still stands there because the bristles are a little bit too, you know, too big really. And then you've got the steel, which is the kind of the nuclear option. This will scrape the heck out of your metal. And there you go. That would just be for you know intense abrading. You can see the powder that it that it made. So either way, you can see that these are very effective at cleaning up the copper. And so like if you needed to solder onto this, you could, uh, you know, take off all the little oxide layers built up on top and make for a nice clean surface to solder to or to repair.